We're headed to Josiah's basketball tryouts. Josiah, stop for a second. Come back. Come back over here. Better light. Are you nervous? No. No, I mean, you can if you want. Are you nervous? No. Oh, okay. Well, we gotta go, guys. Where are we gonna be? Leaving? I wish they played my part again. You know I'm gonna put this on YouTube, right? <laughs> They will try to stop me. It's gonna be some red head in the lobby. You don't want no problem, you want no problem with me. You're not gonna give us a sample. He's so shy. He's not even gonna get he said he got a new song. It's called Juju on that Christmas beat. And I asked him to do it and he's not gonna do it. So he said that we get in the car and it's on the song. Juju on that beat. Juju on that, juju on that, juju on that beat. Don't stop. Don't stop. So we're leaving um, the basketball tryouts that didn't even happen because they had to postpone it. And so the guy was like, well, he's good. This kid is bomb. We don't even need to evaluate him. He's, he's good. Yeah, so all we have to do now is just wait for the coach. I mean, wait for them to pick the teams and we'll get his coach assignment and everything like that. Pretty excited so. about it. I mean, I mean, I don't care at all about it. But Josiah's pretty excited about it. I told him, I said, you're gonna be the next LeBron James. And he was like, I don't like LeBron. But you guys, I bought him a LeBron James jersey just a couple of, like a few months ago, just picked it up because I figured he liked it. And to find out that he doesn't even like LeBron for whatever reason, I think he's just making it up. I think he does like LeBron. He just has to be negative about everything. Yes, you do, Josiah. You have to be negative about everything. And he's like, I don't even like LeBron. Do you like LeBron? Yes or no? This is your moment of truth. No. Why don't you like LeBron James? You don't have a reason not to like him. I don't like people that don't have a reason, but then they say they don't like them. Like, oh, I don't like, but you don't know why. Like, there's people I don't like because they're negative every time I talk to them, but his reason for not liking LeBron, he don't have one. So Josiah has been here all day, minus the basketball thing, and he just now brought me. I didn't know he, that was a he, picture. He had this envelope, and he was like, he thought it was, he thought it was something for me to sign, I guess. But it's his Christmas picture, you guys. Let me share oh, it with you. Oh, I love it. Look, you guys. Aww. Aww. Isn't that nice? So pretty. Like, I was really worried because the one last year, um, I just didn't want it to be the same scene as last year um, with the little... Not last year was good. It was cute, but, like, I don't want that same picture every single year. <laughs> Change it up, you know. Like where you were standing with the little joy bag. Yeah. It was cute. I liked it. It was good. Mm -hmm. But I didn't I don't want the same picture every year. So this one's cute. It looks like they could have probably um I'm the only person that did pictures. Made it straighter. You're the only one that did pictures? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really. Did anybody make fun of you or oh he said he's the only one that did pictures. He's in the fourth grade. Um, I opted for no Santa because he's too old for the Santa pictures. But I, I'm one of the, I like my pictures. My son is getting older. I don't know. I just want the pictures. You know? Am I wrong for that? And he says he's the only one that did it. What's wrong with those moms that they don't want these moments? I guess the prices of them are getting a little expensive, and people have you know their photographers and everything like myself i could have took my own holiday pictures of my son but i'm not at his school and i don't want to take those moments away from you know the school like i don't want to take a what am i trying to say like i know when i was in school i wanted the school pictures and things like that so this is him at school not me getting them dressed up you get what i'm saying uh, it gives me something to look forward to. So I didn't even properly say hello, good morning guys, or good evening. It's 5.50 in the afternoon. Let me get back over here so you can see me. 
I'm recording on my phone today, so yeah, but I was like, hmm, that might be a little bit easier because I was in the car earlier with this side. Just having a really emotional day. Do you ever just sit around and cry about everything? My sister graduates tomorrow. I won't be able to make it for like, I guess, financial reasons or transportation reasons. Pretty emotional about that. And then my baby cousin um, took her baby home today. Um, I won't be able to see him for a couple months. Just the next time I go home, I don't know when that'll be. Um, but that's good because like right now, nobody really needs to be around him. He's a micro preemie um, born about four months early. So I'm really ecstatic. So I was crying about that, watching the video of her drive him home it's so crazy living so far away from everybody because you have to rely on social media to keep up with everybody which is why i hope you know everybody's using social media to keep up with me <laughs> but um yeah so yeah so now that i'm done crying about everything that is happening it's, it's all good it's all good stuff so that's good um no bad you know taking the baby home and my sister graduating those are good things i just wish i could be there for them <laughs> but i'm gonna eat some food rodney got me some chinese food that he already ate in but he's like i couldn't finish it so you can have it <laughs> thanks and he knows i'll take it because <laughs> i'm greedy like that this is gonna be it, you guys. Vlogmas day eight.